I was always told in the beginning that you're not allowed to use go-to statements. That's really bad programming. Is this correct or not? Jumping around code. Can, can, can we look at the philosophy and the technical uh, aspects of the go-to statement that seems so convenient, but it's supposed well, to be so bad certainly programming? Back in the day, in basic programming languages, you didn't have proper loops. You didn't have four whiles and repeats. You know That was the land of Pascal for people mm -hmm. that kind of generally had access to it back then. So you had no choice but to use go-tos. And as you made what were big programs back then, which were a thousand line basic program is a really big program, they did tend to sort of degenerate into madness. Uh, you didn't have good editors or code exploration tools. So you would wind up fixing things in one place, add a little patch. And there's reasons why structured programming generally helps understanding. But go-tos aren't poisonous. Sometimes they're the right thing to do. Uh, usually it's because there's a, a language feature missing like nested breaks or something where it's it can sometimes be better to do a go-to cleanup or go-to error rather than having multiple flags, multiple if statements littered throughout things. But but it is rare. I mean, if you grep through all of my code right now, um, I don't think any of my current code bases would actually have a go-to. But uh, deep within sort of the technical underpinnings of a major game engine, you're going to have some go-tos in a couple of places probably. Yeah, the infrastructure on top of, like the closer you get to the machine code, the more go-tos you're going to see, the more of these like hacks you're going to see because uh, the set of features available to you in low-level programming languages is not, uh, is limited 